We're learning more today about how one Ballard-based company avoided laying off a single worker while losing more than half of their income. Cairo 7's Matthew Smith joins us. Matt, this is a company that has been in the national spotlight before. Remember back in 2015 when Dan Price became a household name. His wild idea at the time cut his million dollar salary down to 70,000 bucks. That was to make sure his employees made the same amount of money or more. But then COVID-19 hit. Now it hit him hard. And this time it was his employees that decided they needed to make the cuts. In 2015, it was about me. This time it was about 200 other people coming together, making individual decisions so that we can continue to support community-based small businesses when they need us the most. Dan Price tells me those small businesses his company supports are struggling. There's no shortage of boarded up businesses downtown. Close signs? Everywhere. For a credit card payment processing company, that spells trouble. Dan gave a blunt assessment to his employees. And I went into the meeting saying, hey, we're 55% down. We don't know what's going to happen, and I don't have a solution for you. Because the two things that everybody else is going to do is layoffs and start mm -hmm. charging more fees to small businesses. We're not willing to do those two things, so I don't know how we're going to overcome this. That's when 98% of his employees agreed to cut their pay. The others offered other ways to help. Surprisingly, the majority were just like, oh, Jess, I don't have questions. Jess Moore is the director of sales. She, like the other people in the company, thought back to 2015. And we're going to have a minimum uh, $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. The guy who offered them what no one else would at the time, and then there was also the thought of their clients. It was no question. We want to make sure everyone stays employed. The only way that we're going to be able to help more merchants and more clients is if we're all here and we're doing it together. It's just heartbreaking because they didn't do anything wrong and yet they are suffering the worst of the consequences. And those small business owners, when they have to take somebody's job away from them or close their business, they take it personally. I'll be honest with you, I spend 30 minutes every day or two bawling my eyes out. And I spent more than that bawling my eyes out when I had 200 employees, you know, offer to take a pay cut to keep my dream alive. A lot of passion for everyone involved here. You might be asking, what's it look like today? The average worker took between 20 and 30 percent of a pay cut. Price, he and about nine other people cut their salaries to zero. And get this, they've had more than a thousand people actually apply for jobs, but they had to freeze their hiring. So they started what they're calling small business champions, helps you and helps them. Essentially, if you're out of work or on furlough and you refer a new business to them, they'll pay you for it. Michelle, this whole thing, pretty uplifting and wild to see this five years after they made headlines the first time. Right. So great you talked to them last night, Matt. Thank you for bringing that to us.